So without further ado, here's the best free Photoshop software alternative. So good old Adobe, some swear by it, some hate it. Now I get that and while I personally use Adobe Creative Suite, I'd be the first one to tell you that the whole software as a service model absolutely sucks for the consumer. But let me illustrate my point before I actually show you the best Photoshop alternative. Say you decide to sign up with Adobe and get their software. You might only want to get Photoshop, so we'll use that as an example. You have three options. You've got an annual plan, paid monthly, and that's gonna cost you $20.99 per month. That equates to $251.88 per year. Then there's an annual plan, which is a prepaid module. That comes to $239.88. But then you also have a monthly plan, which is $31.49. And that comes to $377.80 per year. Now this is just for one of their software. Do you want Photoshop and Illustrator? Double the cost. Photoshop, Illustrator, and maybe Lightroom? Triple the cost and so on and so on. Seems reasonable, right? Wrong, and I'll explain in a moment. Now, of course, you have an all-in-one package with all the bells and whistles as well, so let's have a look at that. Again, you've got the three options, your annual plan paid monthly, which is $52.99 a month, or $635.88 per year. Then there's the annual plan, which is paid up front, $599 a year, but then you also have the monthly plan of $79.49. That comes to $953.88 per year. $900 and $53 per year. Now remember I said it's uh, not as reasonable as we think it is. If you opt for the option number one, which is an annual plan paid monthly, and you decide to stop the plan after six months, guess what? They will then take whatever it is that you still owe them for the remainder of the year and bill you for that. So this is the kind of small print that people don't tend to Read. So here's a fun fact or two about Adobe. In 2017, they had in the region of around 12 million monthly subscribers with a projected 20 million by 2024. I'll let you do the math. It's madness. They have 21,000 employees. 2018 revenue, $9 billion. 2018 net profit, $3.6 billion dollars. Now with all of that stuff out of the way, let me show you the very best free Photoshop alternative that I found and that I personally use from time to time. It's called Photopea or Photop or Photo whatever. Now the coolest thing about this piece of software is that it doesn't matter whether you are on a PC or a Mac ugh, or uh, Linux or Linux or whatever. Um, it works on everything because it works within your browser. Amen for that. So let's have a look at this amazing piece of software. First of all, obviously, you've got to go to photopia.com. And this thing is like buying a triple A replica of a very expensive Rolex watch, except that it works. And here's the difference between Photoshop and Photopia. Photoshop, Photopia, Photoshop, Photopia. This is incredible stuff. Oh, and you see these stupid ads on the side? Check this out. Ad block plus, click, refresh, poof, and they're gone. Okay, so I have one of my thumbnails loaded in Photopia, but the problem is that the font I'm using isn't your average font. So what do you do? Well, they seem to have thought of everything because you can simply import whatever font you've used or want to be using. Oh, and it even stores it in a local storage box or whatever so that you can reuse the font later. It of course has layers and effects and filters and, and, and just like Photoshop. So here's what I'm saying. Stop using things like GIMP as a free Photoshop alternative. GIMP sucks. It's super complicated to use and this is way easier and in my opinion, way better. Oh, and yes, you can import your GIMP files or any other files for that matter. The reason I'm showing you this is because many of my subscribers and students have been asking me how to make proper thumbnails if they don't have software like Photoshop. Well, here's your answer. 
Photopia. And so I really hope that this very short little video helps you guys out. You have absolutely no excuse to not make excellent, beautiful, fantastic, gorgeous looking thumbnails or channel art or whatever it is that you want to do. And as always, subscribing helps me help you and so help me help you. Stay awesome.